Hi, Aries. Okay, I think that... <sighs> you are being way too hard on yourself. In some sick way, I think maybe it's because you think you deserve it. You have really sort of persecuted yourself. You decided to double down. And ultimately, it is really just a sign of grieving and sadness. Maybe even your behavior or your actions were the outcome of actions that were crying out for help or attention or connection. Connection to something that you could feel and you can feel happy about. Um, loneliness really creeps up on cardinal signs because... Yes, even Libras, um, ex maybe except for Libras, but um, no, even Libras, I would say they, they have a, a, a wonderful ability to be alone until they meet somebody that, they, that inspires them, and then they just have to be with that person. But ultimately, cardinal signs have a wonderful way of dealing with being alone, and, and we can get lost in our being alone and not feel lonely. And so when loneliness creeps up, we really don't know what it is. We really don't know what it's coming from. And it kind of like, like makes us feel imbalanced and in a lot of ways vulnerable and weak. And, and then as cardinal signs, what do we do? We overreact and we jump into something or start taking action and doing something about it. And, you know, try to tell a cardinal sign that action isn't the solution. And they're going to look at you like, as if you're speaking a foreign language, you know, you know, because that's sort of, that's how we're built, especially if you have many, many placements in cardinal signs, you know, like there, there's like cardinal of cardinals, you know, it's like, where's your sun? Where's your moon? Uh, where's your Jupiter? Right. Um, where, where are the big, where are the big pushers, the big ones happening? Where's your Saturn? Like if all of this is cardinal or most of it is, you're just, you're just, there's, there's so much behind behind you to say, I can do something about it. And especially as Aries, especially living in your skin, that fire, that, that atomic energy that is just like, do something with, get something, make something, create something. It's like, it's like, it's like the energy levels of a teenage, a teenage boy, you know, it's like, it's just boundless. They can't stop burning it. And so it's always, um, it's always sort of a, a reaction, Aries, to like, do something. And ultimately, there is a, a sense of mourning and sadness that's, that's still around. It's still there. Um, something that didn't accomplish what you wanted to accomplish. And feeling very critical of your person um, for that reason. For making, maybe maybe for being rash, maybe for maybe not being strong enough as you think that you're supposed to be. But ultimately, Aries, this is you really beating yourself up about it or allowing other people to beat you up about it without sticking up for yourself, which is odd. But ultimately, that's what's happening. There's just this sense of really being open to um, hypercriticism because it's almost like you feel like you deserve it. A lot of this has to do with you holding back your emotions and you not, you know, you not sort of allowing yourself to feel because that feels too vulnerable. <sighs> be around people who make you feel comfortable enough to be vulnerable. You need them in your life right now, especially if you have a lot of water sign friends. Um, call up and, and get around them because they are good with emotion. You know, it, it is their energy, right? It is their way of be, doing something, of, of em empathizing, sympathizing, and, and compassion. Um, and honestly, you need to be reminded of how to be compassionate to yourself right now because you're, you're taking a beating for something that, yeah, like maybe you got yourself into something, right? Maybe you didn't make the best decision or something that you tried really hard at didn't succeed the way that you wanted it to or you're just feeling being really critical of yourself for doing whatever you needed to do it, that that ultimately you feel bad about like this is really really harsh this is being very very tough on you and it could be an outcome of you know growing up around somebody who was very critical somebody whose standards were 
stupidly high and you could never ever impress them or um you know it like you never felt good enough or they never made you feel good enough um but there's just such a high standard here set to just be like uh, you know always always expecting the absolute best and the absolute epitome and if you're not achieving that you're not accomplishing that there's like i failed if i'm if i'm not the straight a student and the top of the class then i'm a failure and it's those standards that are making you sort of, and like, don't tell me, I don't care about grades. It was a metaphor. That's all it was. Just a sense of your standards being set so high. And I know you're like, Michelle, but shouldn't we set ourselves? Of course, high standards are important. Yes. High standards are important, Aries, when you realize that just shooting for them takes you farther than you normally would have gone if you didn't have those goals set really far ahead. But ultimately to think in the first shot, I'm just going to get it. And if I don't, I failed. You're way too hard on yourself. Very critical and maybe even taking a lot of weight on your shoulders that should not be. There's a deep sadness that's rooted inside of you that you are not acknowledging. And ultimately, that's what has to be acknowledged. That love of yourself to allow yourself to sort of crumble and cry for a second. And to instead of look way, way, way out into the future, take one day at a time and bring back joy into your life a sense of abundance and happiness first with your person and then with your world trying to balance out and maybe be around people who really love you and really make you feel comfortable that that could be a big issue i'm just aries you're you're naturally social creatures you are you do really well on your own absolutely you do really well on just like forging your own way but you like to be around people you know especially in working environments and to be so isolated for so long i mean think about it this whole year we've been isolated from people we have fire signs are naturally social though you know so there's just a sense of to just not be able to to like have positive outlets for your fire is really starting to sort of corrode and degrade how 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 you feel and and ultimately that is not something that you can control right now which is also another issue a sense of but I should be able to do something about it and lots of times it's just sitting down and crying or sitting down and allowing yourself to feel the feelings um this is a if you make it out alive and I'm 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 saying you will this is a this is a time of great change and reconstruction of yourself um, creativity and ingenuity when it comes to you reconstructing your new person and your new life that's really what this fuel this fire is that's building up inside of you let's go back this is a woman or some sort of maternal figure in your life that was very, very harsh or critical, or it's just a sense of you, you being extremely harsh and extremely critical and driving yourself way too fucking hard because your standards are, if it's not perfect and you're not the best, then ultimately it's not good enough. And ultimately that's not true. That really isn't. Because what is goodness, right? Goodness is balance and peace. Um, not peace as in boredom, but as in balance, you know, sustainable equilibrium. And what is, what is happiness? A contentment and connection to the eternal, the universe, um, and to your, like from your soul space that gives you joy outwardly to be honest and living honestly within yourself. So ultimately it's not about succeeding or success and to put all your chips on that card, Aries, is asking to at one point lose them all. Water. Upside down though, it came out upside down. So you feel drained, like lacking energy. This could also be speaking to health issues really starting to get to you making you feel compromised, making you feel weak, making you feel vulnerable like you don't want to. Full spectrum. This is a part of almost in some ways feeling stuck now because you don't have anything to water yourself, to nurture yourself, um, kind of 
like dried up, not growing the way that you want to grow. Um, but it's also a sense of calling you back to your roots and asking you to sink your deep, your roots even deeper so that you can get that water supply back. How do you do that? Yes, get into your body. Keep dancing. Do something that gives you joy and abundance and happiness. Um, also, something that fuels your creativity. Um, you do need connectivity here because, look, over here we have more dancing as well as um, play. Get out and move your body. So it tells me that movement of your body, not just exercise and pounding it hard, but like moving your body and socializing and interacting and being around people who fuel your fire is so, so important right now. But you need to take one step at a time, not shove yourself in or be hard on yourself and critical. You're like, come on, pussy, like smack out of it, smack out of it. No, no, this is step by step. And that's hard. That's very difficult because um, ultimately Aries like to move a mile a minute. They like to just, they just like to get there and, and they're just, they won't stop until they do. Okay, but take one step at a time. And now is the time to allow yourself peace to enjoy the scenery, enjoy what's around you, right? Give all those complications and those struggles that you're going through, release them to the universe. Let them go. Like say, I don't have control. Right. I, I don't. And ultimately that statement of I don't know, I don't have control and I don't know what's coming next is the most powerful statement and the most powerful place emotionally you could get yourself right now. Um, there's also a sense of pray, ask, open. You don't have to do it all by yourself. There is the eternal, there is friends, there is reach out, talk to people, let them love you. Even if it's not the kind of love that you want as in actual social interaction, this is a sense of, um, of, of people care about you and they want to be connected with you. There is definitely protection here. People who will stick up for you. Um, good stuff that can happen or come from this. Um, just protection in general from those things that go bump in the night and those things that are scary. Um, and ultimately is saying you, ha you should be afraid right now. Not because you deserve it, but because it's okay to be right now. It's okay to feel all of these things. Um, there is definitely trouble that you've gotten yourself into something, some sort of particular spot, um, some choices that you made that might have been rash or oh, like, uh, yeah, rash or hasty or, or in some ways you didn't really think them through, or in some ways you just feel pulled apart because, um, everything seems to be collapsing and tackling you at once. And no matter what kind of help you get, it doesn't seem like it's ever enough. Um, that kind of energy, this sense of, um, like, who can I call for help? Who can help me now? It, there's not, there's no, there's not enough people around and maybe you don't see, um, enough, like maybe you don't see that there is help right now. Um, but ultimately this is what I want you to realize that you shouldn't degrade yourself for being in this predicament. Even if you got yourself into this predicament, these self-defeating beliefs of, how could you be so stupid? How could you be so dumb? I'm, or, or just simply being ashamed of yourself, not feeling good enough. Those things are self-defeating and they are not productive. And I know that you love to be productive. So ultimately, there's a sense of allow yourself to get back to productivity by getting out of the way the biggest ob um, um, biggest obstacle to that product productivity, which is you ripping yourself apart. Um you could also be feeling the impact of a great amount of criticism. Um, yeah, so create sacred space. So this is this is play and dance and maybe just be silly for a little while. Get back to that sensibility, whatever makes you feel silly. Allow yourself to be useful again. But this is also getting back to spirit, using even your body sometimes as prayer, meditation, a way to get into your body, to get into your soul, to get into your higher spirit. This is a sense of give it to God. Um, Maybe you've become disconnected from some sort of spirituality because of so many different things that could have happened to make you sort of detach yourself from faith. Now's the time to bring faith back in your life. And then you'll be able to, in, with, la, with, with, you'll be able to, once you relinquish judgment on yourself, you'll be able to start understanding 
look at look at what's going on look at my behaviors look at my choices look at patterns that i see around me or just like why why does this all keep happening this is something that is reoccurring i think in your life something that keeps popping up and ultimately there's just this sense of really understanding where it's coming from to get at the root of it honor your cycles everything has its season right Everything comes back around. This is a slowing down period. And this sense of, yeah, just reconnecting. Honor the cycle. There's some sort of cycle, pattern and cycle and DNA that's coming into you right now. Something that has to do with maybe even just, just your physiology. Your body is changing. You're going through a life change, menopause, something, something like that. There's just this sense of, Maybe even sadness that in some ways, if you're going through a life change, you can't get pregnant or you're having problems getting pregnant or um, you won't be able to get pregnant anymore. If you're going through menopause, a sense of a sense of going through a huge change or a life change and, and feeling sort of like lessened or degraded by it. This is a time to be really sensitive to yourself and 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 just loving, loving and supportive to yourself as you go through this, uh, which can be supported by being around people who are loving and supporting of you and want what's best for you. Um, this could also be a scent, yeah, something to do with actual birth and conception. Um, forgiveness, forgiving yourself for cutting out those things in your life that just didn't serve you. Forgive yourself forgive yourself and don't judge yourself so critically or harshly but ultimately it's like I think you already have Aries you've already been so hypercritical of yourself forgive yourself then if you've been hypercritical forgive yourself let go of those those ideas in your mind and those phrases that you keep saying to yourself because there's definitely a need to basically say I'm done with this. I have to forgive it. I have to let it go. I have to send it off so that it doesn't keep impacting me and it can really fire you up. And this is a very inspirational time. And that's why I know that even though right now, so in other words, use what you're going through, your pain, your struggle, your sorrow, your questioning, your reconfiguration, use this to fuel your future and inspire your mind inspire your creativity um to bring pat it's almost like you're letting go of one cycle of life and getting into another cycle of life and just there's so much there you're just being really fucking hard on yourself i i said that how many th like times i just it, it is it's like where is all this self-criticism coming from let's get into the animals the spirit animal cards let's get into your animal guides spirit guides So this is something dawning, something brand new, something just coming to life. Um, it's also chaotic and crazy and spontaneous. Um, Spirit is asking you to be malleable, to be changeable, to to when when Fox Spirit comes up, this is Sagittarius energy, and I think that it's talking about a timestamp. So this is Sagittarius season. Um, this is a sense of a few like creativity or newness and improvise. Because it's not about sticking to the plan. It's about just going, not just going with the flow, but reacting and taking action, but not taking preemptive action, improvising, right? Right now, just being able to be really, really malleable with where you put yourself, where you place yourself and letting things go, right? See, looking at the bigger picture, seeing um, sort of maybe why this is happening trying to understand it as its bigger purpose instead of getting lost in the details and then truth transcends illusion so literally this means that some sort of revelation or understanding comprehension or truth is going to come to you during Sagittarius season um, and it's going to I think kind of liberate you in a little way to to make you feel better with looking at the big picture and improvising in life. But this is definitely like progressive energy, moving forward and innovative energy. Um, thinking, thinking of things in a different way than you normally would because your normal thought patterns are actually harming you. They're causing you to think that something's wrong when really something's just changing. Open to infinite possibilities. This is also the star card. 
Um, I'm mean, sorry, this is also Aquarian energy. The star card for me, it is wishes coming true and fulfill. I'm sorry, fulfillment, but also remember that stars are, are fire, right? That's what they are. Open to infinite possibilities, opening yourself wide. And it's it's all calling you to readjust what you've decided. What readjust what you've decided is correct. Like allow yourself to think, okay, maybe I was wrong. Maybe there's another idea, right? Throw yourself all in, give with gratitude and grace. Um, this could be speaking to philanthropy, doing something just kind for others. But I think that this is also putting yourself on the chopping block and giving too much and sacrificing too much. Um, but it's also saying put yourself all in. Take take the jump. Um, jump into something new, um, especially a mindset. Um, maybe even just like, it, it's or maybe even if, like if there's an opportunity that's come up um, where you think there's no way that I'm good enough, there's no way that they'll notice me. It's like putting your whole self in, just just going all in and 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 not making it about what they think, but like going gung ho just because you want to try it or you want to do it. There's a lot of creative energy here, but there's there's sort of this energy underlying. Listen, if you don't believe it's right, you don't think it's right, call it out and force it to improve. T take time out this is healing this is literally saying to you um take a break give yourself a break this is very shamanic energy bear comes in to sort of scare the demons away um so much aggression here you've got the bear card twice almost like forcing yourself so that's what it kind of tells me it's almost like forced isolation forced isolation is really starting to be an issue for you um oh, the bear i need to, i need you to tell me what the bear is no that's not Yeah, know your self-worth, and this is Aries energy, but it's coming out in reverse. So it's almost like thinking that you have to cover yourself in perfume to cover up your stink. It's like you have to pretend to be something and make yourself fit in or make yourself look better than you than you do. It's it's not about looking better. It's about self-acceptance. Um, dis unbalanced discord, unhappiness in a partnership, not getting enough from the other person or having romance just sucked out of your life, not in your life. There's just a sense of caught in a bad romance. I keep hearing that in my head, just caught in a bad romance. So it could have started to eat away at who you are, in which case, you know the answer. Get out of the relationship. Um, yeah, 100 uh, percent like that that's that's the only now if it's not about partnership it's just about feeling like ugly and imbalanced and not valued and being stuck sing your own song yeah this is this is you being drained you feeling like you have to shut up you feeling like you can't say something or talk about something or that people will not understand you um, not giving something new a chance, kind of shutting it down before it even gets, before it even gets a chance to be anything at all. See, you're not giving yourself enough time to be all that you expect yourself to be. It's like, it's like if you're, if you're not, if you don't get out there and do it perfectly the first time, then clearly you weren't meant to do it. That's not true. People who are experts at things, it's just a series of committing themselves day in and day out to doing it. It's not, a, it's not about perfection on the first day. And you're really like disqualifying yourself from this beautiful potential because you're not getting there quick enough. Um, and then we have lay a solid foundation and let spirit be your guide. Um, and this is once again, feeling disconnected from spirit, not having a spiritual foundation. And so we know where to begin, right? We know that the healing should start with, with including in your, in, in your crazy daily routine, including some sort of spiritual practice, whether that's prayer or meditation or both or yoga, which is its own kind of meditation and prayer, like incorporating something to get into your body that also fuels and fills your soul. So you start to work on that spiritual connection and not just sort of like burning the candle at both ends, you know, being so physical, but there's nothing, there's nothing behind it to sort of fill you up. 
right? So let's get into your angel messages. Please do uh, hit, hit um, please do um, subscribe to the channel and also ring that bell because I upload a new Aries video every single Thursday. So you'll get that notification. There's always Vimeo video. So there's an extended video. The link is below. I'm going to go into a full tarot spread to articulate the details about your circumstances and see where it's going to pan out. So please join me over there for that. Also join me, except not this week, but um, um, usually on Instagram, Monday through Friday, I do a daily tarot card reading live. So um, that's really fun and we can interact there. So please do join me over there. And uh, yeah, ultimately, you can head on over to Vimeo now if you want, but I recommend you stay for the angel messages. But you can head on over to Vimeo and you can subscribe over there so that you actually get access to the extendeds about a day before the link comes up on YouTube. So lots, lots of ways to support the channel, guys. And I just appreciate you being here for me. Aries, Aries, Aries. Okay. Um, okay. So we have fear. I, Archangel Michael, am here to help you through the present time. I love you. I protect you and keep you safe. Trust that all is well. Accept my love and allow it to dissolve your fear. So that is you connecting with the highest points of spirituality and allowing it to be your partner in this so you don't feel so alone. And then also allowing other people to help you. Adventure. Instead of seeing the current situation as an obstacle, though it's probably very sensitive for most of you. Try seeing it as an adventure. Explore all the possibilities. There are many more than you currently imagine because sometimes we can feel stuck and shut down um, when we really are hard on ourselves. There are many more uh, possibilities than you currently imagine. Instead of seeing things as either black or white, try to explore all the colors in between. Um, we have mindfulness. Be mindful of another's feelings and needs. Someone needs your love right now. A loving thought is all it takes. It's almost like loving others and caring about others can also help you connect to others and be able to open yourself up. Healing angel, at this very moment you are being bathed in gold, pink, and deep green light. Accept this healing. We, your angels, surround you with wings of love. You are eternally free, eternally fresh, and eternally abundant. Wow. Truth. The best way through the current situation is to just speak your truth. You have, I know that you've been holding something back. Contrary to what you may think, no one will be hurt if you express exactly how you feel. And the reason why you're keeping things to yourself is because a level of shame and that, that you don't deserve. Um, sacred space. We, your guardian angels, surround you with emerald, gold, and rose pink light. Surrender your concerns and worries and enter this sacred space of love and healing. So connection and healing through connection. Um, kindness, which could even just mean something as simple, as simple as talking to somebody. Kindness. A kind gesture rekindles your belief in the power of love. Remember to be kind to yourself. Aries, let's go. Please follow the link below. Let's go over to the extended and tarot. I'll see you guys over there.